Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? What an awesome morning it is. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. This hit song hit my spirit. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. You have to make stuff like that personal. I'm going to be glad because God woke me up. He made sure I made the wake up list. I don't know about you, but that just excites me all over again. <laughs> Yesterday I was excited. Today I'm excited. If he let me see tomorrow, I'm going to be excited. You just have to be excited for the little things. You just have to be thankful for the little things and show God that you're grateful. You're grateful that he, that he keeps on covering you. You're grateful that he keeps talking to you. He keeps ministering you. He keeps guiding you. I don't know about you again, but I'm glad that I can hear the voice of the Lord. I'm glad that I understand sometimes what he's telling me. Sometimes I don't, but I do it anyway because I know God would not lead me wrong. So this morning, what we're going to talk about is be willing to show up. Be willing to show up. This is in your, your life, your ministry, your business. Be willing to show up. Life will throw you lemons, but you continue to show up and you make some lemonade. Put a little sugar in it. Make it taste a little better. See, because life is just that. It's life. It's not, it's not meant to kill you. It's meant for you to build some strong muscles and some integrity. And that's going to take some courage. Let me tell you what courage is. Courage is showing up even when you don't feel like it. Courage is showing up even when you know you got some naysayers, some negative Nancy's, some down Thomases. Show courage is showing up in spite of the fear. F E A R, false evidence appearing real. See, we have a bad habit of letting fear paralyze us because it will. Fear will paralyze you. You will just stay stagnated. That's why some of us have not moved where God, from here to there where God is taking us. We have let fear come in and paralyze us. So I'm, I'm, I'm coming to you this morning. Do not let fear take you out. Do not let fear stop you from getting your blessing. Do not let fear False evidence appearing real. Come on. False evidence appearing real. It's only a mirage. Stop allowing fear to hold you captive. Because if you have the <clears throat> faith the size of a mustard seed, do you know you can move that mountain? Tell that mountain to move and he will move. Stop telling your God about your problem and tell the problem how big your God is. Show up. Be willing to show up. If you don't have nobody by a book, you keep writing your book. If you don't have nobody come to a seminar, you keep having seminars. You keep talking to people. If God has called you to help the people, don't stop helping people because you have some negative nances, some down Thomases, some people that don't believe in you. Guess what? If God gave me the one yes, that's all the yes I need. God has given me permission. He's anointed me. He's appointed me to do what I do. I tell you all the time, I didn't I did I wasn't born saying I'm gonna be this. I wasn't born saying I'm gonna preach, I'm gonna teach, I'm gonna be a motivation speaker, I'm gonna be a coach. God gave that to me. So I I wanna I wanna serve the devil notice, not y'all, not y'all. I'm serving the devil notice. Fear will no longer 
paralyze me from doing what God has called me to do. It will not. It will not. See, I take F-E-A-R. Forget everything and rise. Forget everything and rise. Or I'm going to forget everything and run. Run from my past. <laughs> Woo! Your past is a powerful weapon that the devil uses. The devil doesn't want you to receive what God has for you. So he keeps bringing up, bringing up past things that could possibly hurt you. So I, I'm here to tell you this morning that. Don't give the devil no play. Don't listen to him because he is not the author and finisher of your faith. We have to learn to just show up. Show up anyway. Show up anyway. Be willing to show up. Be willing to show up. In my business, I've shown up for five years. I was, I've never been silent about what I do about my business. I've been willing to show up for five years. November 21st will be my fifth year anniversary in business. And God has shown favor. That's what five means. Grace and favor. God has shown favor in those five years. God, I have grown in God and grown in my business. So I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I was the example. I'm an example. If you need an example, just look at me. I'll be your example. I'll be the testimony that you don't want to tell. I'll, I'll be that success story that you don't want to even look at. I'll be that person. I'll be that one. I'll be that one. Because I was willing and still willing to show up. At my place of employment, I'm willing to show up. In spite of, in spite of whatever somebody say, whatever they think they know about me, I'm willing to show up and God going to show them different. I don't, I don't even worry about that. I don't worry about showing, proving nothing to nobody. I didn't get in business to prove anything to anybody. I didn't accept my calling to prove something to nobody. I accepted my calling because God called me and I finally answered. So I'm willing to show up in my life. Every day ain't Sunday here, but I'm willing to show up every day. I'm willing to show up. You have to be willing to show up. Another thing, if you're striving to be successful in your business, your ministry, if you're striving to be successful, I'm here to tell you, you're going to fail your way to success. See, I talked about this a little bit yesterday, but God is leading me back there. It may have failed. You have may you may have failed at something, but you're not a failure. Stop telling yourself that you're a failure because you're not. That thing failed. The, the, the idea that you had failed, but you're not a failure. Go back to the drawing board. Somebody said, gee, where the drawing board? The drawing board is God. Go back to God. Ask God for strategy. Ask God to give you the steps from here to there. Where is there? Where God is taking you. Ask him to give you the strategy that you need to move from right here to there. And let me tell you another thing. People fail to realize when you're going through, oh, you just feel, you, it's woe is me, woe is me. Your circumstance don't define you. Your circumstance, your situation doesn't mean you're not going to make it to your destiny. When we go through things, there's a testing part in our lives. There's a testing. God is trying to make sure when he elevates you, move you to there, that you can handle here before he moves you to there. It's not the circumstance or the situations that come. It's our response to them. Even in that, show up. Show up. Show up with your head raised high. Show up with your, with your, che with your chest poked out. Because you know who you are. You know whose you are. You have to walk in what God is calling you to be. Who he's calling you to be. You have to have that posture. You have to say, Lord... I'm here. Here I am, God. Send me. You have to be willing to show up for your daddy. You got to be willing to show up for your daddy because he sent our brother here to die for you and me. If he sent him to die for us, 
why we can't do what we supposed to do and show up. Show up for God. Show up in your life. Show up in your ministry. Show up in your business in spite of courage. Courage when you are knocked down, you have the courage to get back up. You have the courage. You have the resilience to get back up and keep moving forward. You have to have that on the inside. You have to have, you have to want more than what you have. You have to want more for your life than where you are now. This is not a, a permanent spot for you. It's just a passing point. It's a learning curve. So get to learning what you need to learn so you can move from here to there, here to there, right here to where God is taking you. See, God is taking each and every one of us somewhere. It's up to us to get in the posture, get in the face of God, stay on your knees and have you some neology and faceology and Pray to God, ask him for the strategy. God, what am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to move there? How am I supposed to do this business here? How am I supposed to do my ministry? Nobody's listening, God. He said, keep preaching. Nobody's listening, God. Keep speaking. Nobody's doing this. He keeps speaking. Nobody's supporting me. I do, daughter. Nobody listen. I, I am God. I am daughter. See, <laughs> When you get into the face of God and to the posture where you can hear him, you got to be able to hear him. Sorry. You got to be able to hear him. You got to be able to hear God. You can't hear him if you talk it trying to figure everything out. You can't hear him if you have the negative Nancy's, the down Thomas's, and everybody else that don't have your, your best interest at heart in your face. Get them out your face. Get them out your ear. Get them out of your ear. Get the people out of your ear that don't have your best interest at heart. You need some heavy weights around you, not no light weights. I don't need nobody lazy sitting at my table or, <coughs> excuse me, or in my inner circle. I don't need no lazy people. I need somebody, when I get tired, they gonna say, no, G, it ain't, no, we getting ready to push. We getting ready to push that thing because there's a baby about to be birthed in you. There's a baby about to be birthed. You need... As Les Brown said, you need them bread and butter people. What are bread and butter people? Those that you can call any time, any time, any day, and they going to come running because they know if you're called, you need something. They got your back. Those are your bread and butter people. Those are bread and butter people. See, I want bread and butter people around me. When I call you, you're going to answer. When I say I need or I, I just may need a prayer. You're going to stop right there and pray right then. I need some bread and butter people around me. You need some bread and butter people around you. No, those that's going to stick to you. Those that's going to stick to the end. They're just not there for the good times. They're there for the good and bad, the ugly or the indifferent. We're going to walk this thing together. See, those are bread and butter people. Those are bread and butter people. Encourage. When, when you're knocked down, you feel like you're not... Five, you take one step and you knock back three or four, four steps backwards. So you're going to continue to move. you still going forward. You're going to move forward because it's the courage of not giving up. You have courage because you're not giving up. You have courage because you continue to move. You have courage because you're doing it in spite of the fear. You're doing it in spite of the fear. Learn to show up. Have courage in every step of your life. Have courage every step you take. Somebody say you can't, God say you will. Somebody say you won't, God say you, we, you will. <laughs> they say you can't, he said you can. Because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So stop allowing people to tell you you can't do something. And it's written in the book that you can and you will. If God has given you the, the, the fortitude, he's, he's, he's shown you the vision. He's shown you a little glimpse of your, your vision. You need to be running for after that little glimpse. 
So when he, when it when it's time for him to show you a few more pieces of it, you'll be ready. Just run after. Run after your dream. Run after your goals. Just keep running. I don't care what nobody say. Keep running after what you want in life. It's not meant for you to stay stagnated in life. It's time for you to move. It's time for you to get up off the bench, get in the game of life, and move forward. It's not meant for you to stay here. It's not meant for you to stay in your past. If your past was all that, that lovely, guess what? You will still be there. But for some reason, you came forth. So it's time for you to continue to move forward. Don't stay there. Just learn to show up. Be willing to show up. You're not showing, you're not proving nothing to anybody. You showing up for you. You telling God, thank you for allowing you, giving you this that you've given, the gift that he's given you, the ministry he's given you. You telling him thank you by showing up. You're thanking God. You're showing him you're appreciative by not just sitting on your gift. Hmm. Don't sit on your gift that he's given you. Get up and show up. Love y'all. I love you, love you, love you. Father God, we come to you as humble as we know how right now. God, giving you all the honor and glory we so, you so worthy deserve, God. God, we thank you just for being God all by yourself. Thank you for the word that you have imparted in me and I gave to the people, God. God, I love you right now. I adore you right now, God. We worship you right now, God. God, we bless your name this day. God, watch over us as we go to our place of employment, wherever it is that we have to go, God. Watch over our vehicles, God. <clears throat> That no mishaps, malfunctions, no breakdowns, nothing will happen to our, to our vehicles our play, on our way to our place of employment, on our way, wherever we have to go, God. Just keep a hedge of protection around us, God, that we will stay in your will, God. Let us learn to order our steps in your word, God. Let us learn to, to just sit and be still and listen to you, God. Let us learn to show up in spite of showing up in our lives, showing up in our businesses, showing up in our ministries. God, let us show up in spite of. Let us learn to have courage and resilience to get up once we're knocked down, God. Because <laughs> you didn't mean for us to stay there. We just ran into a stumbling block. God, and we thank you for being our God. We thank you for talking to us. We thank you for ministering to us, God. We thank you for waking us up, allowing us to make the wake up list, God. God, we adore you right now, God. Cover our vehicles once again from the top, bottom, front, back, side to side. Cover it all over. Cover it with the anointing that only you can do, God. Cover us with your anointing, God. Go to our place of employment before we get there, God. Shower it with your anointing, your anointing and your glory so it can be conducive for you to reign there, God. God, we bless your name this day. We honor you this day, God. We just want to tell you thank you for another day. Thank you for the make, let, allowing us to make the wake up list. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Y'all have an awesome day. And just show up. Just show up. Sometimes we have to put everything else aside and be willing to show up for you. Love y'all.